Hi, Anne here with a, another quick, I hope, very quick anagram on um, the snake game exercise. Uh, again, don't pay any attention to my folder structure over here. It won't be the same as yours. Uh, but I'm here in my working snake code. I've made, uh, I believe, pretty much all the same changes you're required to make. And so if I, um, so if I run the code, um, I'm going to make a mistake here that you guys are all going to make several times. I'm looking at my JavaScript code. I want to test it, and I go to run it and um, hit the run button here and um, get everything but what I expect, including a bunch of error messages. Um, and that's because you can't run this JavaScript code. It needs, uh, it needs elements, um, objects out of the web page window in order to run. So in order to test your snake code, you have to come over here to your HTML, run this file, open it, and you'll see that um, this alert, click when you are ready to play, shows here. And the game doesn't paint until after you click off that alert, so don't get alarmed by the fact your game looks like it's broken when you see the alert. I've changed my colors to this very nice blue monochrome. Um, you may guess by now that I rather like blue. And um, I've also made my snake kind of slow. The only thing that I think you really may need um, an explanation of here uh, are two things. One is I mentioned that you should be able to use um, find to look for the colors in your code. There are two ways to do that. You can come up here to find. And um, if this element is down, the find menu item will bring it up. And you can type in a word and do a search through the code. And this shows us that the word color appears nine times in this file. Um, I said there were five places where you'd set it. If you go through and you look, there are three of them. There's the word color and a comment. But at any rate, rather than just scan for a word, please use your find for it. I'm going to bring this down just to give us a little more space. I've already made my changes. Uh, and um, I've also made the change here for, oh, let me use my find. Uh, Control F will bring up that same dialog. And if I look for my alerts, I see the alert where when the game is over, I am supposed to see this alert. And all I want to do here is show you how you make the game be over. And that's when the snake eats itself, um, which is actually a lot easier to do when the snake is slow. But generally speaking, you need to make the snake. <laughs> He's been slow enough for good at this game. You need to make the snake a little bit longer, usually, in order for him to successfully use his tail. So now he's about six long. And if I just do my arrow keys in a row so that he basically turns in a tight circle, he dies. And then I see the alert for him um, for the end of the game. Uh, actually, the game doesn't totally end there. If I click this, it resets and we start playing again. That's all I had this time.